Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at particle accelerators. So let's get started. So we're going to kick off particle accelerators by looking at what they actually are first of all. So what are particle accelerators? Well, we say that particle accelerators are simply used to accelerate charged particles such as electrons or protons to very high energies and speeds. These charged particles collide with either a stationary target such as a stationary charged particle or other charged particles to produce even more particles and debris. And particle detectors are placed around the collision point to record and reveal the particles that emerge from the collision. In this way, particle accelerators play a role in the study of the nature of matter and fundamental particles. They can also be used for medical purposes to produce radioisotopes for diagnosis and therapy. And the first one mentioned there, the study of the nature of matter and fundamental particles, that's what goes on at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Now you need to know that particle accelerators can take different shapes. So we have linear accelerators that are very long and straight straight, i.e. linear, we have cyclotrons which accelerate particles in a spiral path, and synchrotrons which accelerate particles in a circular path with a fixed radius. It then says despite these differences they all share the following common features and it's worth knowing some of these features for things like open-ended questions. So all particle accelerators will have an electric field to accelerate and increase the energy of the beam of particles. They will also have electromagnets to deflect or steer the beam of charged particles and keep them confined within the accelerator. So they use electric fields to accelerate the particles and magnetic fields to change the direction of the particles and that's what we've already seen in the previous theory videos for this topic. They also also have a vacuum chamber to prevent any air or dust particles from obstructing the particle's path. They also need a source of particles which may be another accelerator and lastly beam pipes which are shown here for the particles to actually travel along. So these are the beam pipes which are stored underground over large distances and it's within these pipes that the particles are travelling. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful, if you did give it one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.